Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see what is difference between at rest controller and at controller annotations in Spring Framework. This is more frequently asked us question in the interview. So if you are working on the Spring Framework, it can be Spring MVC or Spring Boot, doesn't matter. Okay. And if you are going to face an interview, then make sure you prepare for this question because there are more chances that you will face this question in the interview. So for that, watch the video till the end. So in simple words, at rest controller is basically combination of two different annotations at controller and at response body. So here we can say that at rest controller equal to at controller plus at response body. This at controller annotation is available from 2.5 version of Spring Framework and this at rest controller annotation is available from 4.0 version of Spring Framework. So here the question is if we had this annotation right at controller then why at rest controller annotation was introduced by Spring Framework. So to understand this let's jump to Spring Toolsuite or whatever ID you are using. So let's jump to STS. So here I am having one simple controller okay that is employee controller and we have request mapping and say two request mappings or REST APIs or just say this URI mappings are there okay. Let's not say these are the REST APIs okay. We have these mappings for the URIs and HTTP methods. For instance I have used a add request mapping okay. I haven't used a like post mapping and get mapping annotations. The reason is I want to take you back to the older version of the Spring Framework to understand this difference between at rest controller and at controller. Okay, so for that reason I have used a at request mapping. So what we used to do in the earlier version, okay, before the rest controller, say for example, if you are working on Spring MVC application and say the Spring Framework version is 3.0, just for an example I am saying, okay. Then we used to mark our controller class with the at controller. Now this methods, whatever mappings we have, right? This supposed to return your UI, basically your complete HTML. So what do I mean by complete HTML? So your HTML plus your JavaScript plus your CSS, data, hyperlink, button, whatever you say, okay, that will get included in HTML. So all things from here, it's supposed to return your complete UI, basically your HTML. And that will get rendered on the client side, basically whatever user hit this URI in the browser. Now, while working with that, we might come up a situation where we need couple of REST APIs as well, okay? Say we want to write that REST API within the same controller. So, say this is returning complete UI or, or say HTML, okay, whatever you say. Now, this is our REST API, say for example, this we want to have as REST API and this should return JSON, okay? So what we need to do to make this as REST API, we need to mark this with at response body. Otherwise, this will not act as your REST API. The reason is that if you don't mark, then it's supposed to return your complete HTML. But we know right in REST APIs, Either we return text like simple string, JSON, XML, whatever you say, right? Your response body basically. So if you want to return that for your REST API, then you must need to mark this with at response body annotation. Otherwise, it's supposed to return complete UI, basically your HTML. So at controller plus at response body will make this as REST API. So what will happen? You have couple of URIs with the mapping light supposed to return complete HTML, say for example 10 and you have two or three REST APIs, the combination of both. Okay. So what you need to do on the top at controller and here whatever your REST APIs you supposed to have at response body. Now this is to be done to say that this method whatever mapping and all we have right for this supposed to return complete HTTP response basically your response body in the format of string, JSON, XML, whatever you say. So this is what it is indicating. So this will come the next question, okay? If you just say that at rest controller equal to at controller plus at response body, okay? And if you stop over there, the other person who is taking your interview might ask you that what is the purpose of this at response body annotation? 
so you supposed to have answer for that okay that this is required because our rest api is supposed to return complete response body your response basically okay complete http response and that's why you need this annotation and here you don't need it because this is returning complete html so here you need to be ready with the answer that why this at response body is required to develop the rest apis with at controller the reason is our rest apis are directly giving the response body our http response and not this normal ones okay our model and view whatever you return from here okay for example here, here i am just returning employee but this is in the spring mvc we should return like model and view or whatever you say okay complete ui so this is the difference now what spring framework did is that say for example what we used to do now in spring boot we have complete rest apis now modern days in our spring boot application we have only rest apis okay and mostly we are returning json response we have different ui team okay and front end is different they have angular js react js or whatever right on front end they will call your apis and will get the json response so what you need to do say for example inside this employee controller nowadays if you have 20 apis okay what you will do at controller on each and every method you will do like this okay so now this will become your rest api like this you need to do for 20 30 whatever rest apis you have in your spring boot application for each and every controller that you have okay this is one controller you might be having student controller department controller whatever okay according to your application so this is kind of repetition okay so to avoid this what spring framework did is okay let me remove over here so what spring framework did is from 4.0 version onwards it has introduced a new annotation that is at rest controller so you don't need to have this annotation on each and every of your rest api so basically this is combination of at controller and at response body so you don't need to have at response body annotation explicitly on your rest api because nowadays in our spring boot application we have all the rest api so why to have at response body annotation on each and every okay let's open this annotation see at controller and at response body and this is introduced a 4.0.1 okay so this is the difference to avoid the at response body annotation on multiple times and all just go with the one annotation that is at rest controller so if you have worked with the new version of the spring framework then you might not be aware of this okay that why there was at controller and at response body annotation like this because earlier we used to have spring mvc application returning complete html and to have the rest api we need to have at response body annotation and this is indicating that it is returning complete response body our direct http response okay that's why this annotation but now we have at rest controller so this is the difference between at rest controller and at controller annotations in spring framework if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like the video do comment in the comment section and share with your friends we'll see you in the another video till then happy learning and happy coding